Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and today we have our How to Kill a Kit with Style Kill a Kit for October. Now all of these items should already be up for process videos um, so I'll have them all linked down below in case you guys want to check them out. Um, I asked a poll on Insta Stories if you guys wanted to see all the projects made with the kit during that month, uploaded in that month, um, and you said yes, which sometimes is a little bit hard because if I work with the kit through the end of the month, so say I wanted to work with it on October 30th and then my Killer Kit video goes up on October 31st, it's sort of hard that way. Um, so I think towards the ends of the months, if I want to keep working with my kit, I'll keep working with it and it just won't be in the Killer Kit video. If that makes sense. I won't be filming videos for those processes. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I'll debate with that for uh, November here. But today I'm here to share the layouts that I created and some pocket pages that I created. So we're going to start the pocket page just so I can get this out of the way. Um, not this one, but these pocket pages were created with my kit. Um, process videos of those are already up. Just some simple 6x8 pages. Um, and this is my Vermont album, which worked really well with this color palette, so I'm really excited for how these turned out. And I didn't expect to work on this during the month of October, but I ended up doing it, so I'm kind of happy about that. Um, maybe my next kit will get some Vermont pictures done. Um, I'm really excited about my November kit, so if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you can see um, when I share my November kit on the 1st, because um, you don't want to miss that. So, I just realized that I forgot to put the eye on this or it like a little dot. have to go back and do that. But, this is a Speak Em Off Scraps layout that I created. Um, used a lot of beautiful sequins on here. I think three different mixes. Really love it. This one should already be up as well. And this is on the Speak Em Off Scraps channel. But I'll have it linked down below in case you guys missed it. And definitely subscribe over there since I am on their design team. I do post on there quite frequently. And if you like my designs here, you'll like them over there as well. So... This one's pretty simple. We had a couple of double page layouts this month. Let me turn this around. This was part of the Multi Photo Monday collab that I was invited to do. Um, this is a DC layout. Really love how this one turned out. And I used practically three whole 12 by 12 papers on this layout, so like super excited about that. And it's for my DC album, which I really love, so I'll have that one linked down below. Apparently all of these are going to be upside down. This one um, went up a little bit ago on the uh, my regular YouTube channel. Um, I did have a real-time process video for this for my patrons. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out my Patreon yet, definitely do so. I always have it linked down below in case you guys want to see like more, process, more of my process and more behind the scenes and getting freebies like that. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. But I really love how this one came out. Like look at that shine. So pretty. This one was exclusive to my patrons. We did a real-time process video for this one. Another DC layout. Um, used this beautiful wood grain and then this beautiful green color. And even did some splattering, which I haven't done in so long. Um, so I'm really glad I got to do that. Um, and I'll talk about the mixed media that I got to use and what I didn't get to use. Because um, I really didn't get to use much this time. So we'll talk about that as well. Uh, but yes, this one's exclusive to my patrons. So there's not going to be a link to this one for my YouTube channel. And then this one was also on the Spiegel Mob Scraps channel. It goes this way. Another double pager. Um, this is about our cat's adoption. And I really wanted to work with this kit more this month. I just kind of ran out of time with all the upcoming events for November and December. Um, but get excited for those. There's going to be a ton, a ton, a ton of videos and stuff coming. And as you guys know, I've been working on my um, scrap room clean out uh, series. So... That's been taking up a lot of my time, but I really loved how this one turned out as well. And you guys have been really loving the multi-photo layout, so um, they'll probably keep coming. Even if they're not double pages, definitely just single pages. And look, that needs to be glued down. I'm going to fix it right now because I know that with my busy and hectic schedule coming up, I will just put this in the album without it being fixed. So, just a little glue will do. Um, and this is just my Scotch Quick Dry, as you guys know. I love to use it. Um, but that's all the layouts that I created this month, at least that I can remember with my kit. I did create some other layouts for other things, um, but you'll see that in my regular uh, monthly wrap-up video. Um, definitely a lot of creating this month, despite not having a lot of pages to share. Um, I'm working on some upcoming things, which you guys will see soon enough. But seven layouts plus the pocket page layouts that I shared earlier. So now let's get to show you what I have not used out of my kit and what I have used. So I'll start what's on my desk. I've reorganized my kits since the last time I showed organizing my kit. 
and I'll actually show you guys how I organize it in my November because um, this is sort of like a mock trial from October but in my November sh kit share you'll see it all together so I had all these beautiful beautiful things even some of the leftover pieces that I just had out um, pulled out and I only used these two uh, I used the lace and the washi um, which is good, still good. I haven't used this lace in forever, so I'm glad I got it on a page. And then these three items, I might include this in my November kit, so we'll see. But it's good to include things just in case you get time to use them, you know what I mean? So those were kind of a bust, but not too bad. And as for my new organization for my kits, um, I haven't talked about this in my craft room cleanup video, but I do have a drawer system under my desk. You know, these very thin drawers like this. Um, and I've been using those now to store my kits instead of that Ikea um, organizer. So um, I use these a bunch of times. I think one, two, three, at least three layouts have these on them, which is really good. Just my green thickers. I use these a couple of times, which I'm really excited about. Some of the border strips especially. I'm definitely trying to use these up, and obviously I've used a bunch, but I've also had these for quite some time. Then we have the paper pad. I would say I did a good chunk of this paper pad away. Not, well, like, I didn't do it away, but I used it. Um, got a lot of scraps here as well. And I feel like I used this on a layout, and I don't know where that layout is. Oh, no, it was the cat layout, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, never mind, figured it out. I used the rest of that on the cat layout. Um, then the cut-aparts I used mostly in the pocket pages. Did not use these alphabets at all. Um, like I said, these pink polka dots are really difficult for me to use, but that's okay. Um... I don't think I used any of the chipboard stickers either. These were a last minute addition. I don't think these were in my kit share, but I pulled them out anyway. And then I used a couple stickers from this new My Mind's Eye Bliss paper sticker pack. So one, two, three, so like three-ish stickers, which pretty good since it's a wedding album. But um, I hadn't really used this paper pad much. I think I used it once before and now I've, I'd say I used a bit of it one, two, three, four. Oh no, I've used it twice before, but anywho, I'm really excited that I've used some of that. So maybe I'll keep this kit together. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet. Um, I really like the kit together, but I also know that some of these items will go with other kits in the future that I plan on creating. So not 100% sold on that idea. But, and I have to make room for my November kit uh, because I have new ideas for that. And there are some focusing issues when I have foil items, so sorry about that. I used one sticker from this DIY shop sticker pack, which, not surprising because most of the layouts that I was doing were silver based. Lots of die cuts left. These were a last minute addition as well. I did use some of these Heidi Swap Puffy stickers. I only have five left. Really excited to try to finish those up. Also a last minute addition were these stickers that Becky sent me in a prize pack. Didn't use those. Didn't use these tags either, nor these bags, although I really like those bags. Another cut apart I didn't use. These I did not use. I did use some of these puffy stickers from Paper House. I don't think I used any stamps, which again, no surprise there. We'll see what goes next month. I don't know if I'll use any either. Didn't use any of these mini craft sacks, which is fine. Um, didn't use any of these stickers either. I did use a bunch of these Simple Stories Life in Color stickers. Um, there's a lot of that peachy pink color that I really wanted to use on my layout, so that worked out nicely. I didn't use any of these chipboard pieces, although I did try to use them. I only used my Tim Holtz Botanicals on one layout, I believe, but really pretty layout nonetheless. I used one, I think two of these stickers. These are We Are Memory Keeper stickers. Um, these are still open and I should probably put them away. I think I used a couple out of here, mostly the arrows and little icons. Um, yeah, there's some missing arrows. Um, so that's good news. Use some of those. And I really, really enjoyed the color scheme in the Reset Girl products. I think it just covers such a wide variety of colors and fits so many different styles. Um, I think I used zero of these stickers, which are the black, brown, and clear back stickers. Sorry for the packaging noises, I'm sure it's annoying, but gotta put it away. I used two pieces of the Wild at Heart paper pad. Um, beautiful paper pad. Just didn't, it didn't 100% go with my layout, as many of you mentioned. 
Um, I definitely used this one. I don't think I ended up using any of the gold ones. So maybe just one piece. Um, not mad at it though. At least I used one, which is good. And then this is just the packaging from one of the embellishment packs. And then my third drawer is like my embellishment drawer um, and anything that'll fit in it. So I did pull out these perfect pearls, which I did not use. Um, these aren't silver. These are actually in the pewter color, which made me like deter from using them because I knew they wouldn't be silver. But I know you guys wanted to see me use them, so I'll try to use these in an upcoming product showcase video, hopefully. I'm going to put that in my mixed media. Washi tape. I use this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't believe I used any of the pinks, but let me quickly check. No, that's just the silver. Yeah, I don't think I used any of the pink washi tapes. Definitely could have, but I didn't. I did try to use some of... Oh, you know what? I did use some of this one on a pocket page, I think. So, one pink used. So, that's pretty good. That's a lot of washi tape to try to use. So, I'm glad I got to some of it. Uh, I don't neglect my washi tape, so that's the main point of this is don't neglect it. Use a little bit of it. These were a last minute addition. These are just all the die cuts and pieces I put in. These were given to me by Becky as well in a prize pack. I didn't use nearly as many 3x4 cards as I expected myself to. And like I said, this was just a trial run. I changed up my kit organization in the middle of the month to this system, which is my drawer system. It had its flaws, but I also liked not having it out on my desk at all times with that other organizer. It was just always out on my desk. Um, I put in these buttons last minute. Um, I don't think I used any flare except one. Um, these are just more die cuts, not organized in any fashion or manner. I did use some of the cat die cuts I included, which were from Fancy Pants, which they're kind of like this style on the cat page. Um, I did use some of these like Ellie Studio labels on some of the travel pages. Did not use this stuff for stitching. I did, however, use it to uh, cover up the tag holes. I used one piece of this adhesive matte stack pastels. And I do plan on keeping this out for my cards for the rest of the card drive for this Spiegel Mom ink, inky, what is it? Sparkly? No, it's Spiegel Mom Scraps and Ink Road. So it's the Sparkly Inks card drive. There we go. I did use a bunch of different sequins. I used the Music to My Heart, the Baby Butterfly. I don't think I ended up using any of the Silver Stardust, but it's still one of my faves. Sweet Things, I used a couple out of there. And then I don't think I used many out of the Happy Heart, but again, beautiful sequin mixes there. Um, I included some tags and some ephemera. I didn't use a lot of it. It doesn't look like I used much, but then again, you guys know I make really big kits, so that's to be expected. But despite not using much, I did make a lot of lights. So there is that. This used, let's see, four, five, six, seven, seven of the Tim Holtz die cuts, plus some other die cuts that I had in my stash. Um, Again, it's not about necessarily using up the kit. I know this is how to kill a kit with style, but it's the motivation to having the kit and wanting to use it all month long. And you guys do know that I get sick of different color patterns very easily, but if you look at this page and this page next to each other, which I know they're a little bit off, but um, you can kind of tell that they're not... It, you wouldn't guess that these were from the same kit. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're different color waves and everything. They got the pinks and then they got the blues. But... They still look great together in the album. So like even this one has a different fresh feel compared to the others. So I definitely used a lot of bits and pieces. I used this wood veneer that I included. Um, some more wood veneers that I hadn't included like this Studio Calico one. There's that Fancy Pants die cut. LA Studio Cut Apart. My Mind's Eye stickers. A bunch of Spiegel Mob Scrap sequins and a doily. So just creating... That's what these monthly kits are for is to encourage you to create with stuff that you necessarily wouldn't always gravitate towards. So using up our stash is important and that's why we're doing this series. But I hope you guys enjoyed my kill a kit. Um, obviously I did not kill the kit. Maybe November's will be smaller, but I kind of already started picking out stuff and I know it's not going to be small, um, but it should be fun to work with. So that's really all that matters. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will have everyone else's channels linked down below that are participating. We do have various upload dates um, because of, due to other commitments, we might have other videos having to upload, but definitely check them out and give them subscribe so you guys can watch their kill kits and their kit shares and their process videos using their kits because you don't want to miss out on that. So again, I'll have those linked down below as well as all the process videos for the layouts that I shared over here. Um, 
But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!